In this video, we'll show you how to do the self-rescue. When do you need to self-rescue? Normally, you self-rescue if the wind drops and you can't relaunch your kite to get back to shore. Perhaps a line is broken, perhaps something's gone wrong. You can always do the self-rescue to rescue yourself and your kite and get back to shore. To start the self-rescue, pop the chicken loop, operate the safety systems on whatever type of kite you have. If the kite's in the air when you pop the chicken loop, the kite will go onto one line and gently fall into the water downwind of you. If the kite's on the water already, still pop the chicken loop, but you might need to pull on that line that your leash is attached to just a little bit to make sure the kite only rests on one line. When the kite is settled and sticking to the water, pull on that line that your leash is attached to and keep the line out to your side. Throw the line out to the side. You don't want to get caught up in that line. When you get to the bar, quickly put a wrap or two around the end of the bar to hold the tension and then start to wind up that line on the back of the bar. Figure eights if possible. When you've wound up that line, go to the other side of the bar, check that only one line is tight and the other lines are slack. If it's not tight, take that line that's tightest, wind two or three times around the bar and then continue to wind with the other lines also. So start to wind up all the lines, figure eights, as neatly as you can, but don't worry too much if it's not perfectly neat, you're self-rescuing. If the kite is pulling away from you and it's hard to pull the lines to get them to wrap around the bar, it's a bit like fishing, pull, wind up, pull, wind up, pull, wind up. When you're in the water swimming, you go towards the kite quite easily, so it's actually easier if you're in the water and swimming. Wind up the lines until you're nearly at the kite. You don't need to wind all the way to the kite. You can stop two or three meters from the kite. When you're there, wind around the end of the bar and use the elastic to lock it off. Put the elastic on the other side as well if you can. Get hold of one of the lines or one of the bridle lines and pull yourself towards the kite. Now you've got hold of the kite, you can let go of the bar. But if we want to turn the kite onto its side to use it like a sail to pull us back to shore, put your arms wide apart Make a big circle with your arms and turn the kite from somewhere near the first strut. So we've turned the kite over, now we need to get hold of the thicker line on the bridle. So move your body towards the bridle, get hold of the thicker line, then you move your body back towards the first strut, holding that line and pull in a little bit. There we go, self-rescuing away. Bye!